Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another video on Halo Infinite Multiplayer. In this video I'll be talking about the items that you have been able to get for over the last two months. The game released in beta form on November 15th and we're now up to January 15th so it's been roughly around 60 days, 61 days, something like that uh, since the game released and there's been about 47 items that have release for free that you can earn or get through doing certain actions those are what i'm going to talk about today i'm not going to talk about the 26 items that you can earn going through the battle pass uh, i'm not going to include xp boosts or challenge swaps and i'm also not going to include the 35 items that you're able to get through the campaign mirror mirror lockers so we're going to go ahead and uh get started we'll come into here we're going to start with uh yoroi core so this core is available during the Tenrai event. You have to get to level five in the event, which is basically completing five challenges during that event. Um, you're all, you are able to still get it because this event is not over. We've only had week one and week two out of six weeks. So you still got four more weeks to get through all 30 tiers on here. So when we go in here, the first thing we're gonna talk about is this HCS launch coding. Now this was available as a Twitch drop for uh, those people who logged in and watched the HCS Raleigh event in uh, December. So it was uh, from December 17th through 19th. Uh, you had to log in and watch the event for about an hour um, and you would have unlocked this. In order to do that though, you have to have your Twitch account link to your halo waypoint account and this is something you want to do because we're going to have a uh, upcoming hcs events with more twitch drops so make sure to do that right away if possible do it today just so you don't forget about it so that if you do watch something it does count towards unlocking these items so we got the hcs launch coding overall looks really nice really cool then from there we also have the hcs winter coding now this is still available to anybody right now all you have to do is go into the shop go under hcs and it's there on the bottom uh, i'm hoping that since this is hcs winter we end up getting a spring coding a fall and a summer coding that would be really cool then the last coding that we've been able to get for free will be this echo blue now this echo blue coding it was part of the fracture event i want to say this was one of the last things that I've ha I had gotten. So it might have been like level uh, 16 or 17, I believe. Can't remember exactly where I could be off on that. But this is through going through uh, those levels, those tiers, and you're able to unlock it. And since we're on the Yoroi armor set, I'll show you the Kabuto helmet that you've been able to get, or I was able to get through, again, the Fracture event. This is at level 15 in the Fracture event. So overall, this is the stock one, the one that just comes with the armor core. This one looks cool. So I was really happy when I made it to this level to get it. But yeah, you have to at least grind away to get to level 15 if you want this. And then along with that, we got the visor color. So this visor color was available as the ultimate last week, which is the ultimate for week 8 you were able to get this. This was during, once again, the Tenrai event. You are able to get this color. That's the stock color. And that's the the one you unlocked. As you see, I don't buy all these, uh, anything, basically, for the most part. I bought the Battle Pass, and that's pretty much all I bought. I also bought the HCS uh, Winner's color, the Raleigh color, which was uh, Cloud9's armor coating and everything, because they were the winner, and I support them like that. Uh, but other than that, I have not spent a dime uh, on anything else. So we'll move on from there. We'll move over to the shoulders. I'm only going to show you one side just because, you know, it's a waste to repeat. But you can get uh, the shoulder pad. This one is Dragon Bark. It blends in with uh, the ripple that you see going on there. The ruffles, I don't know what you want to call that, but blends in with that. looks really nice. And then we got Gatekeeper, which is this side. Right there. Uh, both of these are available as unlocks in the, the Tenrai event. From there, we'll move on to the knee. The knee pads right here. We got the Dragon Bark again um, because it looks the same as what the shoulder pad looks like. Again, available during uh, 
the Tanrai event. All right, from there, we'll move over to the Mark V B. Now, most of the items that you get are not for the Mark V B, but we got a couple coatings. All the items you get basically for the Mark V B are through uh, the premium edition of the Battle Pass for the most part. So we're just gonna go with the coatings. And so the coating will be the HCS launch coating. Once again, it was available during the HCS Raleigh event as a Twitch drop. And the HCS winner, which is currently still available in the shop. Moving over to the Mark 7. I saved this one for last because there's quite a bit that this one uh, you've been able to unlock. Basically, a lot of the free items are for this one. So we'll start off. We'll zip down. We got the Peppermint Laughter. And now the Peppermint Laughter coating. This was available during a winter contingency. And winter contingency went on from December 21st through January 3rd. Hopefully you didn't miss out on these things if these are things that you want. But either way it goes... Um, to me, this coating, even for the guns, is something maybe I'll I'll roll with in winter time. Other than that, no, I I will stick with something else. I have better coatings than this. And as you see, overall, I got a lot of coatings. So then we got the HCS launch once again. This was part of the bundle. You got all three armor coatings um, for the Mark V B, the Yori, and the Mark Seven all at the same time for watching that one hour of HCS Raleigh during that event um that twitch drop and then again hcs winner still available in the shop you can go right ahead and get that one we'll keep on going down this one right here was available during a uh, winter contingency this was actually the 10th tier the final tier not sure why this was the final tier not sure what they were trying to get at with this color because to me it just looks kind of bland uh but maybe they were looking more like a gingerbread looking coating or something not exactly sure. Then we'll move over to Willow T. Used to be my favorite right here, Willow T. This was available as Week 2's Ultimate Challenge, the prize. So, like that one a whole lot. Keep on going. Platinum Anniversary. Now, all the Platinum Anniversary stuff I talk about was available as a bundle, as a thank you for those people who played the very first two weeks that the game launched as I guess their beta form, which we all know wasn't really beta form. It was just released ahead of time. As you see, I got this on 11.15, which was the day that it actually launched the beta. And I guess it came out in regular form on 12.8, uh, but nothing really changed other than the little updates that they were doing uh, to try to make us happy with how they had set things up. So then uh, from there, that will be it for armor coatings. We're going over to visor coatings or visor colors so vandal this was the only um the only uh, visor coating color that you're able to get and this one was unlocked by watching uh or not watching by completing the ultimate weekly challenge week one move over to shoulder pads this one was available for uh those people that completed or competed in the winter contingency and you got to the level that this one was on, I believe this was somewhere in the middle. But, you know, how they have it broken is, you know, you get the left one, then you get the right one. Obviously, I didn't change the, 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 white, the right one. But that's that. Um, so just winter contingency. I talked about when that had went on. We'll keep on going. And I want to say uh, knee pads. We got the knee pads. Nope, nothing here. So then it'd be the utility belt. This one uh, was unlocked during the winter contingency event. Overall, looks really nice. Um, looks cool. I just don't have it because it's not sleek enough to go with, uh, I guess, what I'm trying to uh, to do with my Spartan. I'm wanting to make him look more sleeker and agile. Not all that bulkiness on at least this version of the, the Mark 7. The, the Mark 5B, I have stuff like that on there. All right, now we're moving over to armor emblems, which are available across all three armors. So I'm only going to show you it on the Mark 7, but it's available on the Mark 5B and the Yori. So the first one we're going to talk about or show you will be this one, available during the Winter Contingency event. This one was and is still available whenever the Fracture Tenrai event comes back. This Sacrifice one was earnable 
this week. So uh, Deer is the ultimate week nine. This is what you unlock. This is the prize if you complete it. You end up getting this, which you'll end up seeing this uh, for the weapon coding and the nameplate, I believe, also. And then last but not least, Winter Justice available during the Winter Contingency event. From there, we'll go down to the stance. Only one stance has been available, which is this victory stance. To me, really cool. It looks uh, reminiscent of when uh, Goku would power up. So those of you who like Dragon Ball, you know what I'm talking about. But this was available day two of the HTS Raleigh, or I guess like a second hour that you have to watch. It might have been day three that you have to watch HTS Raleigh for an hour. And if you did that, you unlock this as part of the Twitch drop. So once again, a lot of items will be coming through those Twitch drops. Make sure you have the accounts and you link them. All right, moving on to uh, weapon coding, starting with the AR, of course, because that's the one I have the most for. We got the Peppermint Laughter. was available during a winter contingency event. Moving on down, we got HCS Launch Coding. This was available as a bundle, along with, uh, I believe two other guns that have the HCS launch coding. I'll show you those next. But uh, this one uh, reminds me of Nocturne Star, which is, uh, what is that, Rockstar coding that you're able to get during that promotion, which is currently still going on. I did do a video uh, last couple of days about that, so make sure you get out there if you want these. Because to me, this gold color is probably one of the best looking uh, coatings that you can get for your AR. But uh, HCS Raleigh, Twitch Drop, and we'll keep on going. Then we got Platinum Anniversary. Just looks pretty basic. But once again, available if you play during the first two weeks um, from 11.15. Starting 11.15. So I'm going to call that the beta version. The beta time. So during the first two weeks of beta. And then, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Past Tense. Past Tense is also uh, a coding that you could have gotten if you... Have Game Pass Ultimate, and you would have gotten the perk. The perk was available from 12A, so December 8th, through January 12th. So not too long ago, three days ago, it was available as the perk. We've moved on to what we consider month two of the perk, which I'll end up showing you what you end up getting for that one. But uh, this one now is no longer available. That I think is no longer available from what I've heard. Those people who have not gotten it aren't able to get it. So don't sleep on these things as soon as they pop up. Get them before they're gone. You also get a, an XP boost and challenge swap. Okay, moving on to the next, which will be the sidekick. Once again, Peppermint Laughter during the Winter Contingency. And the HCS Launch Color during uh, HCS Raleigh Twitch Drop. Battle Rifle will be the other one that you got this HCS Color. Um, so it was the HCS Raleigh event. Again, a Twitch drop. Then we'll move over to the Sniper. So Sniper, it has it equipped. Abbey Lime, this color uh, was available as the reward for completing Ultimate Week 4. Overall, I like how this one looks. Um, it was right around Christmas time, so to me it's uh, me bringing Christmas to anyone I headshot with that, that green and that red. I know it's not official Christmas colors, but... That's the way I look at it. Then we'll move over to uh, weapon emblems. Again, this is available across all weapons. I'm just showing you it on the sniper. And there's only one, which will be sacrifice, which this was the, the reward for completing ultimate week six. Um, it's one of those things that it sucked that they, they separated the three, the armor emblem, the weapon emblem, and the nameplate. Should have all just been for completing the ultimate one of those weeks but you know they got to break it up they, they're giving it away for free so can't complain too much about it if i guess if you don't want it don't grind away for it okay then moving over to armor emblems i don't think i showed armor armor emblems yet um uh, you know what i actually did show armor emblems so vehicle coatings not very many of them here Four in total, two of them on the Warthog. So on the Warthog, you got past tense. Uh, this past tense uh, coding is if you claim right now, um, which will probably be for the next month, 
your Game Pass Ultimate perk. So we're in Game Pass Ultimate perk month two for Halo Infinite multiplayer. You're able to get this thing for free, once again, if you have the ultimate. Um, it comes along with uh, XP boost and weapon swap. So even if you don't want this, you might want those. And then the other will be Platinum Anniversary, again, available during the beta two weeks. Just basic, nothing great about it. But you know what? It's free. Can't complain too much. Moving over to the Razorback. The Razorback has the Platinum Anniversary color again. Available first two weeks of the beta launch. Again, looks cool, but not any better than uh, this one. This one overall, the best color. I like it better than even uh, this camo look. And this, again, still available with uh, Rockstar promotion going on until uh, the end of March. And one last coating, which will be for the Rocket Hog. So the Rocket Hog, again, Platinum Anniversary, available the first two, first two weeks of the game's beta launch. Not very much has changed from the Warthog, so just kind of basic there. All right, we're getting towards the end. Hopefully you're enjoying this video, getting some insight on what has been available, when it was available, and what's still available. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Backdrops. So the first backdrop we're going to talk about will be Scoreboard. Scoreboard was available as the prize or the reward for the ultimate week six completion. Or, you know, actually it's week five completion. Then we got Snowmageddon, which was available um, during the winter contingency event. We got Tory Reflection, which is and was available during Fracture Tenrai event, which will be back February 3rd. So don't miss out on that. If you want those things. And then we got Splatter. Which is probably the best that you've been able to earn out of the four. In my opinion. Um, this one was available as the reward for Ultimate Week 6. So the last section we're going to talk about is Nameplates. So let's go over Nameplates. I have three. There is one that I'm missing. Yeah I know. I wanted all 47 items. But ended up with only 46. So here we go. We got this one right here. And this one uh, is available or was available during the Winter Contingency. This one is and was available during Fracture Tenrai event. We got Sacrifice. Again, this one is available as it was available as a reward for Ultimate Week 3. And then last but not least, we have uh, Winter Justice, which was available during the Winter Contingency. Now, the last thing that I'm missing, which was a nameplate, it might have also been an emblem. Not exactly sure because, like I said, I don't have it, but it was it was something like milk. It had like a milk canister with eyes on it and stuff. It was like a little character. Uh, that was available as a Twitch drop within the two days before HCS Raleigh. At that point, I hadn't had my Twitch, um, my Twitch account synced with my or linked with my... Halo Waypoint account, so I wouldn't have been able to do it there. A lot of people didn't have theirs linked, so they missed out on it. And then the second thing was, it was only like a two or three hour event that was going on, and you had to go and watch, I don't remember if it was 20 minutes or an hour, but you had to watch some of it uh, in order to qualify to get it, to unlock it. And I missed it, I was at work, I missed the tweets about it, so I ended up hearing about it, I wanna say when I got home, which was probably like three hours after the event had stopped. So I missed it. I hope it comes back. I know a lot of Twitch drops uh, do actually come back over time. So I'm not saying the next time that it comes around, it's going to be there. But you want to make sure that you're following uh, HCS on Twitch. You want to make sure that your uh, Twitter or HCS on Twitter and make sure your Twitch account is linked with your Halo Waypoint account. So you don't miss out on these things if these are the type of things that you want. Obviously, I'm going to show you the picture of the milk right now. Uh, I probably showed it obviously before because obviously I'm going to edit it in afterwards. But there you go. There's all 47 items that are technically free. Um, you just got to do certain things for them. And again, not including stuff in the battle pass or the campaign. Not pay, uh, including anything that you pay for because obviously that wouldn't be free. Hopefully you found this video informative. Let me know how many of these 47 items you actually have yourself. And until next time, Assassinator out.